Okay, this is 3.1 examples part one. So it says find the extrema of f of x equal to x square root of three minus x on the interval negative three, three. So what we need to do here first is find the derivative of this function. So this is gonna require me to do, well first I should rewrite my radical as a power and it's going to make me um, do the product rule. So we have the first times the derivative of the second. Keep the base the same, decrease the power by one, and then apply the chain rule, multiply by the derivative of the base. Plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. So let's simplify this here. We get negative x over two over the square root of three minus x. Negative exponent means it's in the denominator. One half exponent means it's the square root plus the square root of three minus x. I do want this all in one fraction. So I am gonna have to multiply by um, the common denominator here. 2 square root of 3 minus x, 2 square root of 3 minus x, only to the second fraction. So then I end up with negative x plus 2 times 3 minus x. Since the square root times the square root will give me the square root squared, the square root will go away and the square. They kind of undo each other. So I just end up with um, what's in the inside. So then if I distribute my 2 here, I will have negative x plus 6 minus 2x over 2 square root of 3 minus x, or negative 3x plus 6 over 2 square root of 3 minus x. Now I have to do two things. I have to set when the numerator is equal to 0. That will tell me when the derivative is equal to 0. And then I have to figure out when the denominator equals zero, that will tell me when the derivative is undefined. So here I'm gonna minus x on both sides of the equation. Then I'm gonna divide by negative three on both sides of the equation. Here I'm going to um, divide by two on both sides of the equation. Square both sides of the equation minus three on both sides of the equation, and then divide by negative one on both sides of the equation. Now, we do need to take into consider the domain, because if any of these two numbers is not in the domain, then they will not be critical numbers. So the domain of this, there's no denominator, so I just have to worry about what's inside the radical being greater than or equal to zero. So if I minus three over there to the right hand side, I will get this. If I divide by negative one, then inequality will flip over. And so I get the X has to be less than or equal to three. Two is less than three and three is equal to three. So both of these numbers are in fact my critical numbers. So then the next step is to go ahead and um, evaluate our function at those critical numbers. So I need to find f of two and I need to find f of three. So these are the two y values you get. Part three is to go ahead and evaluate the function at the endpoints. My endpoints are up here, negative three and three. So we have already evaluated the function at one endpoint, but we do still need to evaluate the function at the other endpoint. So 
So this is about, um, let's see, I need to plug that in my calculator. So it's about negative 7.34. Now when you write your answers, you usually have to write the exact answers. However, um, using the decimal notation kind of helps you decide which numbers are smaller or larger. So part four, which is the last of this problem, is just to indicate which is the minimum and which is the maximum. So our minimum is going to be this negative number. So it's going to be at the point negative three and negative three squared is six. And our maximum is going to be the highest y value, which is two. So two is the x value, and then two also happens to be the y value. So this is our minimum and our maximum for this problem.